The deaf and hard of hearing community lost a tremendous advocate last month in Paul Taylor. We are disheartened to learn of his passing. Sadly, many of us are probably unaware of who he is and his contribution. I did not learn of him until about five years ago when I joined TDI. Now, I look at him as the father of relay service. People tend to cite DPN as the catalyst for the ADA. But honestly, I think it all started back in 1964 when Robert Whitebrecht invented the TTY modem. When Paul learned about the TTY modem, he immediately bought two, one for himself and the other for his wife's parents who lived two blocks over. At that time, Paul and his wife Sally were living in Missouri where he worked as an engineer for an aircraft company. Shortly after acquiring his TTY, Paul founded a local advocacy organization in St. Louis, which allowed deaf TTY owners to access important information, including news, weather forecasts, and emergencies, which would be displayed on the TTY. If you remember, TV had no captioning back then. He also created one of the earliest private relay programs where deaf families in St. Louis pay $2 a month to make real-time calls to an operator who would voice the message and type back the response. Later, he moved to New York to work at NTID as a professor, and while there, effectively lobbied for New York to create its first relay service. Later, NTID funded Paul's advocacy efforts, allowing him to travel between New York and DC to push for a nationwide relay service. Then DPN happened, and later Congress started its ADA hearings when they called in people to speak. Paul was the second person to testify to Congress and spoke about the need for a relay service which will provide deaf people independence, employability, career mobility, and success. He also explained how the existing state programs were ineffective, furthering the need to establish it on a national level. When the ADA was signed into law, the FCC, Federal Communications Commission, the agency responsible for relay services, hired Paul Taylor to draft the relay rules, which are the same rules that we have today. I was fortunate to meet Paul and Sally three years ago at TDI's 50th anniversary gala. And I remember very clearly when the two of them walked into the ballroom, you could immediately see and feel the admiration from everyone. Many guests approached him and thanked him for everything he had done. For me to see nearly 500 people feeling honored to be in his presence, affirmed that his contributions to the community are legendary. Thank you, Paul. We'll miss you.